today we're going to be doing the plumbing of our business or our clients or whatever we are doing with Facebook ads. Now, let me tell you what the plumbing is. The plumbing is, is very simple. It's building the architecture, the foundation of the analytical system behind your campaigns and your business online. Now, what this means is we're going to make sure that the business manager is created, the ad account, the payment method, the tag manager, the Google Analytics, and everything in between just to make sure that we are ready to generate the data and results. You don't want to lose any data point when everything starts coming in. So it is very important that you are ready for volume. So first step is going to go and create a business manager. So click on the link below or go on business.facebook.com slash overview. Okay, so now I'm going to create my account. So here basically all you got to do is is input all the information about your business. So your business and account name, how you want to name the business manager, then your name, your business email. And once you submit, you're going to be asked about the address of the business and some other information and some other information. So just make sure to fill everything up in the right way and everything's going to be good. Okay, so now I created my business manager and of course I already have some assets in here, but I'm going to show you exactly how to add more assets how to create the page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on business settings. Now, what I want to do is add more people. If you have other administrators, people you want to add inside of your business manager, here is where you do it. You add here and you add their email and you can put them as administrators. I do not recommend having more than three admins inside of your business manager because every administrator that you have in your business manager is a weak link that could put your business manager in jeopardy from hackers. You wanna keep the admins as low as possible, and if possible, a maximum of three, and everyone else, you put them as an employee with employee access. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add Carl inside of this business manager. So I'm gonna add Carl, I'm going to put them as an admin, I'm going to click on next and I'm going to give him this one, Pompey Dumpy, just a task page. And I'm going to give him also exit, survive an account, manage ad account. This is for administrators. If you don't want to give them this much power, make sure to select the right one because then you're, you, because then again, you have more weak links inside of your business manager and you don't want that. So I'm going to click on invite. And usually when I click on invite, this email tends to take a lot of time to get to the inbox of the person. So what I love to do is click on resend, copy this link and send it directly to Carl. And then you have another option, which is add in partner. So a partner is another business manager that you give access to your assets, meaning that you keep the ownership of those assets, like let's say the page or the ad account, but they as partners can have control, depending on which level of control you give them, of those specific assets. So if you have the business ID of that business manager, you just do give a partner access to your assets, you put their business ID here, and you select the assets that you want to give them, either analytics or maybe just reporting or administrator. But again, it's less dangerous giving admin power to another business manager like a partner because they don't have admin power to everything inside of your business manager. So it's okay. Now, the next step that we are going to do is to secure the business manager. Even before creating the page, even before creating the ad account, this is what we're going to do right now. And we are going to secure the business manager. The way you do this is very simple. You go here to two-factor authentication, and instead of keeping this to no one, you put it to everyone. Now, what this does is once they try to log in again inside of the business manager or use one of the assets, they're going to be prompt a notification that they need a two-step, two-factor authentication system. Maybe it's a two-step authentication USB key or a text message or the Google Authenticator app. They can decide how they want to authenticate 
their presence inside of this business manager. So the reason I'm telling you all of this is because there's so many people losing their business manager to hackers. Hackers come in inside of your business manager because there's no two-factor authentication system and they can just remove you as admin, put themselves admin, uh, change all the pages names and really wreak havoc inside of your business manager. That's a bummer. So the first thing you do is you create a two-factor authentication system and make sure to review people's access and then to verify your business. Because if you verify your business, you'll have access to more products, more things of Facebook that if you are not. So click on start verification and put all the business information just to make sure that you are registered. This might take maybe a week, maybe two weeks, even a month for them to verify you. Uh, but as long as you've sent all the legal papers, all the legal information of your business, you should be fine. Then when you're verified, then it's all beautiful, it's perfect, you're secure, and you're, you're legit. That's what I say, you're legit.